Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing WarioWare. I want to play WarioWare, and I don't know how I'm going to fit all this together. It's fine. I want to play more grid. Let's finish nature. You know what? Let's look at nature in the eye and go like, hey, nature, how's it going? I don't know either. Let's just go. You know what? We're going to water some plants. Hey, everyone. So I have a flower shower. 20 points. Grow beautiful flowers by watering them. They need your help. Move. Okay, yeah, it's you gotta navigate, go to the water. It's somewhat similar to that gopher one. Except you have more control over yourself and you're watering. Oh, it's trying to go away. Well, whatever, buddy. You're flowering whether you want to or not. This is a weirdly slow one. All right, you barely have to touch with the water, actually. Just kind of have to do a grazing watery hit. So, one, don't move at all. But round two, it's gonna move, except like it's up against a wall, so it's not like it can really escape at all. This flower has two layers of trap, because there's 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 the pot, you know, and there's also there's a third layer of the fact that it is a plant. And so wild plants are able, they are allowed some amount of autonomous movement. It's not, it's not very complex autonomous movement. Like, they can turn towards the sun, they can grow, uh, they can eat naughty children. Whoa, that I almost missed. Like, beyond that, you know, if you're, if, whoa, oh, the, 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 the flower blocked the other pot. They were worried, but I don't understand why they don't want to be flowering. Like, I'm pretty sure flowers love to bloom. I don't know if they love, but I mean, it's something that, no, I'm pretty sure, whoa, whoa, how did the, how did the water dodge, dodge the plant? Like, that's what it felt like, it's like, it's, it's like the, all my water drips expertly kind of got slung all around that plant, it's pretty impressive, I gotta be real, I am very impressive, oh shoot, I mean, I won, like, I passed the 20, this is, you know, I like to soar beyond 20, but soaring by, like, just a couple of points, oh, that's, it just doesn't feel like anything. I'm gonna be real. I'm not really feeling the speed increase with this one. This is kind of a weirdly easygoing, slow game. Which, I mean, yeah. Well, see, it's the thing again. I guess I move too fast. And the water droplets, like, kind of physics through it. It's very interesting. You gotta be careful out there. Mending your garden. Because things like that can happen. Crane game! That's just pure timing. Pluck. The fish from the water so the nice bird can eat. Yeah, catch. So you're feeding the bird by letting the bird feed itself. Yeah, like we've had, like this is basically the same as catching the, the mice in the cup. Except that's not true. Here we see how in the higher levels, uh, the, the, the fish, the thing you're trying to catch, changes so the, the change isn't the the container the thing that I'm using what changes is the target by starting to move more erratically with that said you know it could be moving further away from you know the looming doom hovering above it but also I don't know how aware fishes are of things like the reason why these like fishing type of bird evolve very well is because fish are stupid and like they probably think that the 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 bird legs there that were never there before was always there before and it's just like a, a tree or something like a plant because it's very similar to be fair i don't know what are like the senses of a fish like i don't know how well they perceive things i reckon they're probably okay at touch because you know like um they're surrounded by water so they would get vibration all the time like, like, sight, I would believe it if sight wasn't all that great. Hearing, I have no idea. Like, I don't know what's the hearing system of fish. Oh, biting from the face! That's just cruel and mean. See, that, that's a fair catch. Oh, ooh. Okay, by the way, the speed is more speed now. And there I try to compensate for speed, more speed. I overcompensated and I miss. I still got all the points I need. That's only 15 points. That one was kind of free. I remember this one struggling so much with bug bite. 15 points. 
avoid the repellent and feed that hungry mosquito. Drop! All right. Bite. Yeah, you gotta just go. Like, yeah, you just, you don't move. It's just, you gotta time yourself in between the clouds of uh, ant antacids. Just filling the air. Like, you can see that little pump just like pumping here. Like, they're just filling that entire room with uh, bug spray. But considering the sheer massive size of this bug, like, I kind of get it. Like, that thing is gigantic. Like, look, at, assuming that that baby is a normal human baby at human baby size, like, look at that welt that the fly is creating. It's huge. It's like the size of that baby's knee. So, okay, no, yeah, you probably would need that amount of poison to get rid of that bug. But I just get the feeling that you're using so much poison that you're... Like, basically, the amount of poison necessary to kill this bug is probably the same amount of poison that is necessary to kill a human? Especially an infant? Like, I'd be a little bit... Whoops, I did that so wrong, but I won anyway, so it's fine. Like, yeah, I, there's that little pig there. I've seen that little pig there thing in, like, Japanese stuff. Like, is it like an air conditioner of some kind? Like, an air fan? Air circuit? Wow, I just, as soon as the things got faster, I just, okay. And you know what, I think I always got to this game at a certain level of speed, and I could never do it. I think that explains it. It's very easy when, you know, low speed. But I think this is one of those games that always popped in a little bit later. Mystery solve, maybe I'm just making assumptions. Two birds, big rocks, 15 points. The baby chick is waiting. Knock the wood from the stones to clear the way. Strike! Alright. Promise nothing. But, oh, okay. We're doing that. Alright, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> that is a strong bird. It's a... It's a Kazooie Smash move. Except, you know, it's a green bird instead of a red bird. Like, they had to change the color. Because, you know, copyrights. And, you know, I'm sure that the squirrel seems pretty happy about Service Render 2. I, I, I wonder what the story is here. How is this construction made? Why is it there? Why is the squirrel just kind of stuck vaguely on top? This is a game of many mysteries. It's got massive cherries growing on that tree, by the way. Whoops! Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's gonna, like, fracture your skull, probably. Oh, jeez, okay, and now it's all falling apart. I might lose, I might lose. I've been having... too much fun. And now I'm in the danger place. Okay? I, I'm quieting down now. Oh, no! Okay, I mean, it's not impossible. Okay, it's not impossible! Why I did it! I did it! I cleared it! Okay, we did it! <laughs> there was a little bit of fear, but at the end of the day, the baby was saved, except for now. It was saved the right amount of time. <laughs> Afterward, nature stops scaring. <laughs> nature just doesn't care ever, that's the reality. Nature is an uncaring and cruel. I'm just blasting through these, what's going on? There's only two games left. Like this one. The claw! That's very natural. Lower the crane and pick up the stuffed animal. Aren't they cute? I don't know. I mean, that's not nature. It's a simulation of nature. Alright, well, da -da, check it out, it's a bunny. Little pink stuff bunny. Da -da 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 -da. You gotta get both half of the bear. Maybe a koala bear? It's wearing a shirt. You don't wear shirt in real life. Here's a big thing. Whoa. Game not- you know what? No. This is the first three. This is the top 15. So, the blue thing, whatever it may be, it's very kind of picky. Like, this one's a bit tricky because there's two shapes. Fine. Like, I was pretty gone gosh close of this elephant, but no, you really need to be in between it. 
No sliding allowed. There's an E on his shirt so that you're aware that he is, in fact, an elephant. It's pretty good, you know? It's important to wear your own branding all the time so people are not confused, you know? If you meet someone out there in the street, you need them to know exactly who you are instantly. In fact, I suggest printing out your, like, your, your, your social uh, number card or whatever. Like, have it still screen on all your clothing and have it very prominently displayed on your chest at all times. Like, it's just, it's just good practice. So people know exactly what it is that you are and possibly what you want. Like, if you're going shopping, put your credit card information on your shirt. You know, put the front on the front, put the back on the back, and then when people, you know, when you're buying a thing, you just turn around a little bit, and people know exactly, you know, when they don't have to ask, they can just tell you to spin, and then you're gonna get everything. They'll just scan you using the massive scanner I'm sure exists at. Man, this is a day of where I just kind of make it exactly to the thing, without too much effort, and then I just die. I just get destroyed into a cloud of dust instantly. And like, I'm not throwing. Like, I'm not doing it on purpose. I, there is no throwing here. This is just what's happening naturally, and it's, it's been weirdly consistent. All right, well, last game of nature, blow hole bridge. 10 points only, it's a hard one. You need to find land. Cross the whales while avoiding their spouts. Okay, I can do that. Move! I've done that before. It's one of the more video game ones. Look at that, they turn real purple before the spout. Whales, back to back! You see that very often. Whoa, whoa, whoa. there you go, see? And that's true, like, whales, before they erupt water in order to breathe, it's, oh, whoops, oh, I'm dead now. But it's a top 10, so I won't immediately quit. But, okay. Okay, so be concerned about that. On level, level, uh, uh, then you go. Yeah, see, but now we're gonna be on, on level this guy. It's gonna be like, whoa, he's got a little white flag. You see that little guy was waving a little white flag. Is he surrendering? Surrendering to what? His lust? His envy? I, I, I need some more information here. Where is the logbook? I need to know. Is he afraid? Is it just a white flag of fear? He's like, or maybe he's just say, hey, I'm here, idiot, me, me. You know, it couldn't be hard to see, because he's a tiny little guy. He's like just a few pixels. I mean, like, on your screen now, he's gonna be a little bit bigger, because the foot is gonna get, like, blown up. A little bit more, more, made more big. But, you know, like, in the real world, like, he's just a little guy. He's just a tiny little thing, just a tiny little shape. He's like, well, check out to me. And so it's like, Oh, I didn't make it in time. Oh, what, what, I just, I just ran right through the water. But I nonetheless did not made it all the way to the island because I kept stopping. But also I kept stopping too late. So if you do that, and then you can just go. No, you cannot just go. See, that one I was kind of not trying, trying. I knew I had one, right? So I was like, well, I'm going to experiment a little bit. This is the result of the experiment. Four dead little guys. 17 people got to the island, but four of them were dead. That was considered too much, and then so they figured, you know what? We're just gonna end it right now. And thus, the realm of nature has been vanquished. Uh, keep on watching from time to time throughout the advent. I think I'm just gonna keep going, and I think I'm going to do next the IQ games. So now we're on the right side, we're gonna move on to the left. Pretty wild, right? I think that's exactly what I did the first time I played this.